degrees. Currently, calm winds, clear skies in many locations. Red Oak, Denison right now coming in at 21. Our coolest spot, Red Oak and Denison again, where they have a little bit more of a snowpack in our far north northeastern Iowa communities. That's where you have those cooler temperatures and a little bit more radiation or cooling taking place. But Throughout the day, we're going to be tracking those stronger winds once again out of the southeast and also cloud coverage. In fact, we're looking at wind advisors going into effect later on this morning around 10 a.m., lasting pretty much all throughout the day. And here's why we're looking at those southeast winds again sustained anywhere between 10, 10 to uh, 20 miles an hour, gusting as high as 30 miles an hour here in the metro area. Looking at those wind gusts getting as high as 35 to 45 miles an hour in those areas that's under the advisory throughout the day. So throughout your Tuesday, around your 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be tracking some increasing cloud coverage. We should be in for a nice sunrise. Winds really pick up as we head beyond your lunchtime hour. Temperatures topping out in the lower 50s for many locations. Remaining dry for your Tuesday for all throughout your day, but we're going to be tracking increasing cloud coverage and that is setting the stage for our next inbound low pressure system. Right now it's kind of hung up in the Rockies, but it will be making its journey closer to us by the time we get closer to tomorrow morning around this time. In fact, the storm predictor is, uh, is illustrating those rain chances really picking up as we get closer to around your daybreak hours for Wednesday tomorrow morning. Could be waking up to some damp conditions, especially for the kids heading to the uh, bus stops, but quickly dashing off to the east as we get closer to tomorrow afternoon. Now, how much rain we're talking about? Not that impressive, but this is just round one of many rounds of showers and thunderstorms that will be heading in our direction. As a matter of fact, we're looking at increasing chances of showers and storms, not only for your Wednesday, Thursday night, especially into Friday, then once again, Friday into Saturday, we're tracking a variety and pretty much a conveyor belt of low pressure system that will be rolling in and out of the area. Some of those storms could be on a strong to severe side. In fact, this is for Thursday night. The Storm Prediction Center has already issued a marginal risk for communities south of I-80. That does not include the metro area, but we will be tracking the possibility of some of these storms that could generate maybe some large hail, some damaging winds. And yes, tornadoes is also a possibility as we get closer to your Thursday uh, night time frame. Right now, Wednesday impact weather because of the morning rain. Most of Wednesday appears to be on the dry side, but around this time tomorrow, we could be looking at some damp conditions. Impact weather for your Thursday night into Friday because of that storm chance. It could go on the strong to severe side. Check out these temperatures in the mid 80s for your Friday before cooling go. back down into the 60s and 50s around this time uh, next week. And for weather updates anytime.